what is the rate of reinfection cases? If reinfection rate is rare according to the CDC and journal articles, healthcare professionals, could you conclude that immunity from previous infection is effective in reducing hospitalization, serious illness, and death? Yeah, I mean, if a person's been infected and they get reinfected, there are a couple of concerns with the reinfection. One is all the unvaccinated people around the reinfected person. You know, you can still spread the disease. And one of the big concerns we have, which we might address later, are the variants that we are seeing with this particular infection. How do variants come around? You know, it's like if if Dr. Sara Khan and I go and buy two lotto tickets, chances are we're not going to you know, win. I mean, I hope we do, but I don't think we will. On the other hand, if 25 million Californians buy the lotto, no matter how big the odds, you know, someone wins it. So similarly, if you need certain genetic mutations to confer resistance and vaccine escape for the virus, the more opportunities you get it, you give the virus to replicate, the more likely that if it's replicating in millions of people, there'll be variants that will emerge that are resistant to our vaccines. And then we move on to just a whole new cycle again, where you were back to the pre-vaccine era. So the goal is to try to extinguish this disease. And part of the reason, part of the reason everybody should be vaccinated is you don't become a vaccine factory. I call them a variant factory. You know, people that are unvaccinated become infected and have replication by the millions inside them, potentially are variant factories. So on a bigger scale, it's really important that we try to control this infection. And that's one of the reasons. Now, the other reason is even if, well, what, what is the original question? The, what is the rate of reinfection? Yeah, that, that Dr. Morani addressed, you know, from one to two. That was breakthrough. Reinfection okay. in, in so reinfection in patients who've already had COVID. I think that this is a different question. What the breakthrough was people who were vaccinated and still got COVID and reinfection would be somebody who had COVID and got COVID again. I think the, it was almost one to one and a half percent is the reinfection rate. I mean, the numbers keep changing, but has, one has to look at them. And the less exposure you have to the virus, the, the lower the number is going to be. You know, Personally, we're tired of this. You know, all the nursing staff and the physicians, we want to see an end to this. And we just don't want more and more variants coming through and people refusing to take the vaccines and, you know, the disease just going on and on. So that's, that's sort of my take on this. Any follow-up questions? 